All right guys, ball above our feet. This is a tricky one. We feel like the ball's gonna snap hook. We start to make some compensations. We don't really know exactly how to play this shot. A lot of times you'll start digging down into the ground, which can be very frustrating. I'm gonna go over exactly what you need to do to hit these balls nice and clean, get them back out in the fairway, put them on the green every single time. Let's go and get started. All right, so when we have a level shot, let's imagine that I have my, my eight iron here and I have a nice level shot. My sole of my club is level with the ground when I make contact. This, club's, this ball is gonna fly out nice and straight. Now, as I start to tilt this way, this direction, so you can imagine now the sole of the club is here. I have this big sloping heel here. As I tilt that way, look how my, my ball is gonna tip, tend to fly more to the left. So that's really what we're combating is that that ball is gonna wanna fly this way. It's gonna wanna draw from right to left. We're also combating that now the ball's way above my feet. You could imagine if the ball was way up here, I just feel really awkward. So I'm going to go over in a lot of detail from the feet up exactly what you need to feel, but keep that in mind. I'm trying to get my balance. I'm trying to make clean contact on the ball. And then I'm also making sure that I combat that ball wanting to curve or hook to the left. So let's start with the feet. Now, when I set up the balls above my feet, I'm going to feel like my feet are kind of angled back like this, and I may feel a little bit of weight toward my heels. And that's okay. I wouldn't try to combat that. I wouldn't try to, to fight into this heel because now I'm getting too close to the golf ball. So I'm going to stand up and just realize a little bit more weight is going to be in my heels, and that's all right. As the ball starts to get more and more above my feet, the ball is actually getting a little bit closer to me. So I'm going to choke up on this grip a little bit. You can imagine if the ball was way up here, well, now I'm really going to have to choke up. If I use my full swing, it's going to, going to be very awkward. So I'm going to choke up for a moderate slope like this. I'm just going to go ahead and choke up about a half inch or so. That's going to make it a little bit more comfortable. Also realize as I start to choke up a little bit, my club isn't going to swing quite as fast. I'm also going to be a little bit off balance because there's a slope to this hill. So I'm going to want to take one extra club. Now, since that ball is curving from right to left, it's going to tend to roll out a little bit more. A draw will tend to roll out a little bit more than a fade. So I'm taking one extra club. That's going to hit the ball a little bit harder. I'm, I'm having that little bit of a draw on there. That's going to get the ball rolling a little bit more. So I would typically try to play a little bit toward the front of the green and get it to roll out. If there's a lot of trouble over the green. I may want to error, kind of make an easier swing, get it on the shorter, shorter side. So hopefully that makes some sense. So weight's a little bit back. One thing I want to do here is I want to go ahead and stand up a little bit taller. So if this is my normal swing, I'm going to stand up a little bit taller. As, I, as this ball gets higher and higher above my feet, I can stand more and more vertical. So I'm standing a little bit higher there. And again, I just want to get comfortable with my distance from the ball to where I can choke up, weights on the heel, and I'm standing a little bit taller. And then finally here, I'm going to make sure, because that ball is going to be moving kind of from right to left, I'm going to aim toward the right edge of the fairway or toward the right side of the green so I can naturally let that happen. I'm not going to fight that. And I'm going to realize that my swing is going to be more of a merry-go-round type swing. As that ball gets farther and farther below my feet, it would be more of a Ferris wheel. This is going to be more level with the ground. So I put those pieces together, choking up a little bit, weight on the heels, standing a little bit taller, letting that ball curve from right to left, and realize it's gonna be a little bit more around my body like a baseball swing. If I try that out, that's gonna be great. That ball drew back in toward the middle of the fairway. Take a nice, easy swing. Don't try to rip those balls. And then lastly, it may be a good idea to get a little bit of a wider stance. We're gonna be off balance. We're gonna feel a little bit odd. Let's take a little bit of a, a wider stance that way we feel like we got some better balance. And again, we're not trying to kill that. We're just trying to get it back out in the center of the fairway, center of the green. Don't really go for the pin on these types of shots, but follow those keys. You're gonna handle these things with no problem and uh, you're gonna make some good recovery shots. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I got a great bonus for you. We all want lag and I got a bonus video that's gonna play a preview here in a second. If you wanna watch that full lag video, it's one of my number one lag drills. It's gonna help you to get more lag and more speed right away. Go ahead and click the link that pops up on your screen if you're on a desktop, your computer. If you're on a phone or a tablet, go ahead and click the i-card that pops up on your screen. You'll get instant access to that. Plus, you're going to get five bonus videos from my Top Speed Golf system. You're going to get instant access to those too. So good luck to you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Remember to subscribe also. Click that thumbs up. It really helps us out. And I'll see you guys in the live video. Hi guys and welcome back. I'm Clay Ballard and in today's video we're going to talk about one of the absolute worst drills for creating lag. It's a very common drill that I see and in this drill what we're going to do is we're going to set the wrist very early to create an angle of lag and then we're going to try to hold this throughout the swing. 
It's one of the worst things that you can, that you can do to build lag. I'm gonna talk about the science behind why this is the case, and I'm also gonna give you a great drill to help you improve your lag all in this video. Let's go ahead and get started. I do it this way versus holding that position. Exact same thing happens when we're building lag in the golf swing. So what we wanna do is throughout the swing, I wanna have a very low and wide takeaway. So I'm not gonna set my wrist early at all. If you look at a lot of the top players, you look at uh, Adam Scott, very wide takeaway, not very much wrist set at all. You look at Roy McIlroy, you look at Tiger Woods, all these players are using a wide takeaway and not getting very much wrist set so that later in the swing, as we start down, we can increase this wrist set and we're really only gonna max out this angle of lag for a split second in the downswing. Okay, so a three-step drill here. Now, as we get started with this, I want to remind you that the fulcrum in this golf club for getting a massive amount of lag